Hello, Trini. Hello, darling. How are you, I'm Jemima? great, thank you. How are you? Good. It's a while since you've been here because I've been doing things in LA by myself. I know. And you were off and then Molly was here. You had a good holiday. Lovely. Fantastic. <laughs> today we're doing a bit of night today. And this is something that I was doing a little bit when I was researching Fearless and looking at how I can take a wardrobe and make it work 24 hours a day, basically. So, and not day to night. Not day to night because... I'm talking about things that you've bought for a special occasion. You've probably invested the most of that item in your wardrobe and you might wear it the least because you bought it for a wedding or a very special event or a black tie event or big summer party. So I've done a whole mixture of things, but I thought I'd start off showing you my nighttime look of some sequin trousers, which I got in Topshop years ago. And I'm wearing them with a heel because that mm -hmm. to me is that nighttime moment. Uh, getting back into heels, but clergy because they're comfy. And then I've got this Dries top, which is sort of that side bar clever. Oh, yeah, sexy. Which I would not do during the day because there could be a moment <laughs> if I turn and it's like, did you mm -hmm. see something or not? And I don't want that to happen in the day. And then I'm just looking also at my wardrobe and thinking, you know, things like a dress like this, to take that from, from night to day is the challenge of backlessness. So when you're doing backlessness, I would consider, would I do that in the winter with some chunky suede brown boots and a polo neck in pink under it? But it would have to be the same colour and then it would have a, a sort of drapey coat over. That would probably be the only way I could do that, but that still is a full-on dress. So certain things you'll never be able to. You can just think of different ways you wear them. Mm. You know, I could wear this with flats or with heels, with earrings or... You know, that, that's yeah, just going to... Yeah, like different time. seasons. Yeah. Something like this, which is an old Zara number, I do wear, during the day, loose with a gold sandal and some sort of drapey necklaces, because I feel necklaces are more daytime and earrings are more evening-y. That's... I don't know if I talk about that very much, but I believe that. So, for the evening, it would be a beautiful big earring and it would be a wonderful golden heel and it would be a, a really good belt and I'd probably take, you know, something like this, which doesn't suffocate the dress, but allows the accentuation of the waist because this is quite loose around the waist. Mm -hmm. So I put that on and it winches it in, but you still see the flow of the dress because you don't want a belt to disturb the flow of a dress, especially when it's an evening dress. Yeah. And then I would do, you know, maybe right here, um, those shoes and it's all that sort of fusion of gold. And then if I'm doing a belt, I would do an earring. I wouldn't do a necklace. Got it, okay, yeah. yeah. Daytime, it's gonna go to a really comfy um, shoe. It would probably be a white trainer and it might be some long drapey necklaces, my hair really messy and perhaps just a sort of bright pink lip. I was about to ask, how does makeup play into the transition of night to day? It plays quite a lot and I, if I was, doing this for night I'd make a much smokier eye and I do sort of because it's silver at the top I'd, I'd probably do a mixture of silver and gold because I've got gold here and silver here because I'm yeah. sitting neutral so I do like magician on my eyes but with maybe a bit of vitri on the inside Ooh. so I bring that play in and make it smoky eye neutral lip whereas for day well let me show you day at the end of this film so watch now a few ideas and inspiration of things you might have in your own wardrobe and challenge yourself how can I change the shoes? How can I go for a necklace to earrings or vice versa? How can I put something underneath something or over something to change what it is to the appearance of something else? So a sequin jumpsuit becomes a pair of sequin trousers. A long silk dress becomes a long silk skirt. Things like that. Okay. So take a look. Sometimes dressing for night can be dress up and sometimes you can just do something with your hair and you think, is this amazing or am I wearing the mop on my head? This is full on nighttime, Alice Templey, Marola earrings and a little, <sighs> so now I might just take down my hair and do the rest of the shots. Oh, night today. So the Templey really, you know, only ever wear this at very black tie events and a little cast jumper over the top, my mango black, um, Gilet, I can't think anymore, yeah. and an old Ericsson Beeman necklace because I wanted texture. I don't like to wear black this dense as a black all right on my face, so I needed something to lift it. And I just love the way that because the Gilet has the slit up the side, you still get that hint of the sequin, but it really feels a daytime opportunity, albeit a smart one. So, lots of you know, this is a dress I have on repeat. It's one of my favourite essentials, Antwerp, and I wear it 
in the evening in the summer so much and I wear it in the darker shades in the evening in the winter. And I always wear a long necklace with it and a high heel and it's fab. It is the most versatile dress because it is a dress more than any other dress that I professionally wear at night and in the day. So let's see it in the day. My after for the way I'd wear it in the daytime is getting all those pinks together. And if I was a bit chilly, this is a really nice sort of spring or autumn look just to wear it with a scarf. I've made it very Crayola uh, tonal, apart from the peak of white for Trace Hogan and Lips Morris bag. And then if I'm feeling hot, just having the Marcus look for jumper. Just like color over color. And so many of us have these sort of lovely, silky, nighty evening dresses that we then think, what do we do with them in the day? And if we're not a sort of festival girl in our 20s, it's harder to think of how to do it. So I'm gonna take a lot of my 90s out now and start channeling them like this. Night today, and this is three different pieces I wear together at night, but definitely they can be worn during the day, but I'm showing you in a way how I wear them and bring them together. So it's like never be scared to do head to toe one color. And silver, in my case, is better than gold because it goes better with my skin tone. Ring is, I think, H&M, Fakaraba, H&M, Christopher Kane, L.K. Bennett. And now let's see how I'd wear them during the day. And this is the after of how I'd wear it during the day. I've just taken the Christopher Kane trousers and they are the easiest thing to dress down for the day. And it's really about, could you get joy from a totally mad trouser? That's the thing, because sometimes you can see something like this and think, is it worth the investment? And if you know that you could put the simplest things with them, and that's the way you dress them down. So white trainer for Russell Bromley, Zara t-shirt, and these are actually a present from Chloe, and she got them in a market in Italy. But just, it feels cool. It feels like I'm really, you know, not, I'm making an effort during the day, but I'm still cool. And that's what we sometimes so want from an outfit. Lastly, with a coat and a hair tuck-in moment. Just when you've got a hair that is my legs and it's after a few days goes like that and then pokes out in a slightly old fashioned way, hair tuck coats are the best compromise. And um, yeah, so still the same top, the white shirts, old Celine coat and Bella Freud trousers and trainer. This is a temporary jumpsuit that I've done a lot of things with because originally it had a sleeve to here and it just felt the wrong place, Jemima, you know? So I got a Susanna, she tucked, and it's a great trick if you have that weird bat wing sleeve, take up the fabric, tuck it under a shoulder pad, and give it a whole new dimension, Starship Trooper, really, meets kind of Studio 54. So I've done it loose, no belt, just to be chilled, very high heel, because there is a big gusset here. Um, but I wear this mainly at night, and I can do it up, but I think actually I'm getting used to having a deep V. So how are we gonna switch it out? Oh yes, and the earrings are Leah Ginsberg, one of my favorite jewelry designers from Israel, and I wear a lot of her resin jewelry. And this is a leg and brain ring. And Aquazura shoes, which I cannot walk in, but for the purposes of showing you the outfit, looking for nighttime. But how do we make it daytime? I love the sequin jumpsuit from Templey, but I don't wear it often. So in fact, now I've worn it in a daytime look, I'm gonna wear it a lot more because the colors, this is about color, this one, because my jumper, the Joseph jumper, has the color in it from the Templey. Then I got the scarf in India, which has the color from the coat. Tonally, they all go together, and the coat is Smythe, boots are Sakai, and then I've got a Prada bag. By taking the scarf down, you cover a bit more of the sequin. So you still get the flash of sequin, which definitely, as you all know, I love wearing the day, but this really allows you to not feel that you're too sparkly. You just got that little bit of something extra, which is what we want from an outfit. We all have dresses in our cupboard that we save for a special occasion. This is one I got from Zara, and I used to wear it a lot. I used to wear it with, you know, just sort of smart shoes like this, not quite this height, these are old ones from my wardrobe that I don't know if I can walk more than five meters on, but you get the gist. Nice earring, this is from Chalk, fantastic brand that makes amazing jewelry, which is very light as well, and an old ring, I can't remember where it's from. Little belt from Zara as well. Makeup, obviously for night, we wanted to really have that full on glamour. John used some Empress and some Fortune and a little bit of black eyeliner, and then a little bit of Eugenie on the lip and some schmuggy flush blush on the cheek. Let's see it now for the daytime.
So there are two ways to do this. You can just do a black trouser. These are from Reese. My top is from Cos. My favourite hand movement action. And this is just open because it happened to be a shirt dress. And then I've got some Prada boots on. And the necklace is from Felt. So I could do this. And this is something most people will have to wear underneath it. But the high boot is probably not me. But it's what a lot of other people might have is a high black suede boot. So I can show you now classically with a high black suede boot and then how I'd probably wear it. So this is yeah, probably this is how better. I would wear it, Jemima, because I just am not a high boot and a tight black trouser kind of girl. I need to have a chunky boot underneath. Anyway, a little bit more inspiration for nighttime players in the daytime. Bye you enjoyed that and what I've done here is really played them down and interestingly I decided to take away my waist um, because yeah. if I put my waist in you you see more the evening aspect of these trousers so just by having it really casual or I could do the mini tuck like that and then something you definitely wouldn't wear in the evening is a hat so I'm my favorite waist as I got back from LA is to wear a hat like that you know so oh, the sun is hitting me beautifully oh that line is perfect up. but it's like that hair's a bit messier there might be some sunglasses i got these in LA I just, they're not appropriate can I just show you how fantastically Elton John they are um that is too blingy I can't have double bling I've got to step away Trini from the bling <laughs> step, step away, away from the bling. <laughs> so maybe I just go for a metallic okay you know just a daytime metallic that's more actually a to me a sort of unfussy sunglass yeah yeah so there that's my day oh my God. do you want to test it in the light oh let's test it in the light that's another hello Ooh. light hello light can you see the light trini i can see the light oh and it's glorious so i hope you enjoyed it and next week I, you said i don't want to move away from this light i know next week i think i want to do that kind of one item eight ways yes challenging myself and challenging you so also write down what you would love to see from Closet Confessions and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Trini. Thanks, Trini.